Hello Sagittarius. Welcome, it's Sandra here from Wolf Moon Tarot. I hope you're all well wherever you are. Um, this is your reading for the 11th through to the 17th of April 2022 or thereabouts. It could resonate a little bit beyond that time. Um, it's a general reading, Sagittarius, so it won't resonate with everybody, but it certainly will with some. So please take what resonates with you. So we'll start with the Energy Oracle cards, just to um, get some overall energies to start your reading. So what do we have for Sagittarius, please? What's important for Sagittarius to consider at this time, please? Right, first of all, we have the Magician and the Mirror. Um, this is about being fully aware of what it is you need to do, Sagittarius. So, you know, balancing out what you're able to balance out, bringing harmony to a situation between fire and water, so between um, fire energies, which is very much your energy, um, and the and the water energy, which is um, very much to do with the emotions, but this can also be to do with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. You know, so take it out, it resonates with you. But this is, you know, giving serious consideration and looking at how to manifest and balance and harmonise between these energies. Um, the crown chakra of the magician here has got the symbol of eternity there. So this is very much about what goes around, comes around, and how we all interact and interlink with each other and how the energies keep flowing. They just keep flowing. And it's about tapping into those energies where we can um, to make a difference, to manifest the realities for ourselves going forward. And then number 41, the seventh chakra. There again, this is the crown chakra here, Archangel Uriel. So this is very much connecting in with universal energy of Sagittarius. Um, it's a very similar energy to the High Priestess, a very spiritual energy. But, you know, opening up, being, being connected with the guidance and the healing that's coming down for you now. Um, Archangel Uriel is holding uh, the book, the Book of Knowledge here. Um, so this is about gaining more knowledge, tapping into the and connecting to gain more knowledge about this situation, which is not that far removed from the, what the magician and the mirror is trying to do here. So let's get into your reading, Sagittarius. So what do we have for Sagittarius, please? 11th to the 17th of April 2022. What do we have for Sagittarius, please? Okay, well, we've had a card that's jumped out and flipped over. This is the tower. So this is talking about um, one of... We all build many towers throughout our lives and some are built to last and some are not built to last. And this is one that's come down that wasn't made to last. So some form of a revelation um, that's, that came in or that is imminent. Um, something being raised, being ended, raised to the ground quite dramatically um, for some of you. But let's see, shall we? That jumped out, so it wanted to be heard. So it, can, it may be concerning the past, the present or the future. So let's see. What do we have for Sagittarius, please? Whatever the situation is going to be, it's something you're going to give some deep thought to and, you know, 
and reach out with your universal connections to get some guidance. So at the bottom of the deck we have the King of Cups. This is very much a Pisces, uh, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Um, but the King of Cups is a very um, spiritual energy. Um, tends to wear his heart on his sleeve. It's not gender specific. So this is either an aspect of yourself, Sagittarius, coming forward with your emotions, tapping into your heart centre. Um, something that is heartfelt, something that affects your emotions. Um, but taking control, perhaps, of your emotions. Or it could be, for some of you, offering your love to somebody. If this is not yourself, so this is somebody coming in that's offering their love to you. So it's a beautiful, spiritual, nurturing, caring energy here. Quite a meditative energy also. But let's see where this fits in. So could we clarify all of the cards on the table please for Sagittarius? Clarify all of the cards on the table for Sagittarius, please. All right, Sagittarius, at the bottom of the deck we have the world card and this is about an old cycle completing so something ending now naturally something that is naturally ending ready for a new cycle a new beginning a better beginning to 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 come in but to allow something new to come in something old has to end and when one door closes another door opens it's that sort of an energy Right, we have two major arcana energies here, quite significant energies. There's a judgment call being made now on a devil energy. The devil energy is a toxic energy. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm gauging this as somebody connected to you, Sagittarius, uh, who has a, is very self-serving, has a self-serving energy, a large ego, um, has perhaps have addictions, obsessions. Now, um, there's a judgment call being made here. This is a time of rebirth for this energy um, and in the way that it's connected to you. So this could well be saying that it, this, this is a time because we remember there's an old cycle completing now and a new cycle to begin. This could be with the judgment call is saying it's time to learn from the past Sagittarius. You know what went well in the past for you, what decisions didn't go so well and as you go forward now at this time of rebirth don't take the negativity with you, you know, just take the lessons with you. Um, so t take control, take better control of a situation. And try not to repeat an old cycle that's just going to come round and around and around, I feel. And it's to do with um, a devil energy. All right, what's at the root of this for you? Well, we have the Hermit and the Queen of Wands. Um, the Hermit, which is the Virgo energy. Um, so you've been doing, I feel you've been sort of coming away from the crowd a little bit here and shining your light to get the answers, to go to, to get a better way forward. So a lot of introspection here, you know, deep thought, tapping into your inner wisdom, if you like, and to your intuition. So taking time out um, and it's to do with the Queen of Wands uh, fire energy. Now this could be purely talking about yourself, it's not gender specific but the Queen of Wands is definitely a Sagittarius energy. 
you know so this could be yourself you know tapping you know tapping into your intuition now um about searching for a better way forward now the past influences the past energies are the five of cups and the empress and the five of cups this is when you've been feeling uh, sad grieving over a sense of loss and uh, coming away from the battlefield um but being very preoccupied on what's gone now. Um, but the the message of the Five of Cups is that there's something better waiting. You've just, once you can lift your energy, you can see there's something better waiting for you. Um, but at the, when you're in the Five of Cups energy, it's you can see the fire burning in the background where the battle has been taking place. And that's how it's felt. And there's been some form of a loss that you've felt deeply. But as a clarifier, we have the Empress, and the Empress brings in expansion, good news, positivity, spiritual connections, um, a love of nature, a love of the earth, you know, and nurturing what that which is meaningful for you. So I feel there's an Empress energy. It's either an aspect of yourself, Sagittarius, or somebody connected to you, or it's the energy of the Empress that has come in at this time um, to offer these two beautiful gold cups behind you that are offering, that are promising growth and expansion and new beginnings. So that all happened in the past, which has led to a judgment call now. For this devil energy. So very powerful energies on the table here for you. Sagittarius. So what's on your mind at the moment? Well we have the high priestess. And we have the page of cups. So what you're thinking about. You're thinking about something very spiritual. Spiritual connections. Um, the high priestess hold secrets and it's about you know tapping into your intuition to find out what are what are those secrets what is it you need to find out what is it you need to know and it's concerning um, a message to do a message that will make your heart sing but you doubt that message because we've got the pig with wings up here so the old saying, pigs may fly, it, you're doubting the information that's coming in. You're doubting what your heart is telling you. And that's why you're tapping into the high priestess energy, to find out what's real, what's not real. But using universal connections to do that. Spiritual connections. Okay. And it's to do with this uh, this judgment call on on this devil energy. Going forward, we have the three of swords and the ten of cups. And the three of swords. This is heartache and heartbreak. Something pulling at the strings of your heart. This is a deep, deep heart pain and it's to do with a family situation. The Ten of Cups, in its purest sense, this talks about happiness, joy, um, complete emotional fulfilment in a family situation. But because we have the Three of Swords as the lead energy here, I feel this is saying there's some form of um, heartache and heartbreak going forward to do with this family situation. And it may be because there's a judgment call being made to do with this devil energy, and which I feel is connected to the, the heartbreak and heartache. There's a judgment call being made here. 
something may have to be left behind at this time of rebirth. So I feel that's why you're having to draw on all the energies that you can muster, Sagittarius. You know, what is it that you, or your intuition is telling you? What is it that universal guidance is trying to say? You know, looking at yourself now and, and how you're trying to get the balance between these fire and water energies. You know, and, and being aware that what goes around comes around. So looking at your reflection now and what is it that you're trying to manifest? What is it that you're holding on to perhaps? So what would your guides want to say to you now, Sagittarius? Well, here you are, Temperance. This is your energy within the tarot, in the major arcana. So here you are. And the three of wands as a clarifier. And of course, temperance is about balance, achieving balance and harmony. Um, we have the planet of Jupiter in the background, which is the planet of, of expansion, which is always the pull for you, the, the what you know, wanting you to expand, to to take action, to act. But of course, that's why temperance is your energy. This is about holding fire a little while to achieve balance and harmony and allowing healing to come in. Because the Three of Wands, this is waiting for your ship to come in here. After a lot of hard work and planning, just waiting now for your ship to come in and being patient. But the problem here is that all of your hard work, you see, the young woman with her surfboard is waiting for the perfect wave, but the sea is quite calm, so there's no big wave coming in anywhere, anytime soon. Um, so this is either the wrong time or the wrong place. So the timing isn't quite right, the place isn't right. For things to materialise in the way that you want them to, for things to happen the way you would like them to. And that's why we've got the temperance card here your your energy which is about allowing time moderation in all things allowing healing and balance to come in so something's not quite the right time sagittarius because we've got some significant energies on the table here and, it's, and if this is a judgment call on the devil energy, then that's a massive, that's a massive event, a massive happening here. And so this bringing this old cycle to an end. So for a while going forward, it's going to be pulling at your heartstrings to do with, it's a family matter. So for a while going forward, this is about being temperate, doing temperate and just, you know, biding your time while this old cycle completes. But I feel, I feel this is yourself, Sagittarius. You know, it's not gender specific, remember. But this is yourself, you know, it's it's about your heart, isn't it, and your emotions and how things affect affect you. But you are strong nevertheless. The King of Cups is very strong. That's why he's at, he's at the top of his element and is above the water of emotion because he's very much in control. So you're going to manage this. Sagittarius, you're going to manage this and you're going to find a way of, of, of balancing things out and, and achieving harmony within yourself and around you. So could we have two final messages for Sagittarius please to complete this reading? 
two final messages for Sagittarius, please, to complete this reading. Right, so finally we have impasse, so reflect and redirect your energy, plus choose your path, all is possible. So impasse, the, the road you've been on, Sagittarius, uh, you can't carry on, there's, there's, there's a wall across there, that you're being blocked, the universe is, is blocking you from carrying on in the way that the direction you've been going and on the, the path you've been walking. If this is an impasse, this is, you, you know, you're not going to be able to carry on. You're going to re have to reflect on the situation and then redirect your energy. And I feel that's what the judgment card is saying and the magician on the mirror. But all is possible, so choose your path. Choose another path now. Choose a different direction, Sagittarius. To do with this situation it will be something slightly different for all of you remember but I feel it's quite an important time I think I feel for some of you you need to protect your heart protect yourself here from this devil energy toxic energy but the universe is going to, is stepping in here. It's, remember we had the tower that jumped out, didn't we? Um, and that's the universe stepping in and saying no more. All right, Sagittarius, this is your reading. Um, it's general, it won't resonate with everybody, but the, the energies are here to a greater or lesser degree. Um, I hope you found the reading useful uh, and supportive, but um, good luck going forward and until next time, bye bye for now.